Hey, this is Dan from The Verge, and this is the new Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. It's the latest smartwatch from Samsung, uh, and it actually joins the Galaxy Watch Active that was released earlier this year. Samsung is going to be selling both of these at the same time, so you can kind of choose between them. As you can see, it comes in two sizes. There's a 40 millimeter and a 44 millimeter. It's available in both Bluetooth and LTE versions. The LTE model here that I've got is stainless steel, and then this is a Bluetooth model that's aluminum. You'll be able to get it in a bunch of different colors, black, silver, gold, what Samsung is calling lily gold. And of course, there's a bunch of different strap options. It uses a standard uh, pin strap there. So this one's got a leather one, there's rubber ones, there'll be a whole bunch of different options there. They've kind of made it a nicer feeling watch than the Galaxy Watch Active, which was, it's definitely a lower end model and it feels it when you use it. Everything is a little bit nicer, especially the stainless steel model here. It's just a nicer build quality. It's still really thin, it's still really light, still has a nice bright OLED screen on the wrist there, so it's easy to read indoors and outdoors. The biggest thing that they've done is they brought back the rotating bezel. Now it's not an actual physical rotating thing like on some of the other Galaxy Watch models that we've seen in the past. It's a touch sensitive strip that you run your finger across and you can scroll through screens, you can scroll through text, notifications, apps, whatever. It's just a lot easier to control than the first Galaxy Watch Active, which didn't have any system like this at all. You only had the touchscreen options. So super happy to see that come back. It's really slick and smooth and probably the coolest way to interact with a smartwatch that I've used. On the side, you've got a couple of buttons, pretty simple, straightforward, back and menu buttons. Uh, and then underneath, you've got an upgraded heart rate sensor, you've got an upgraded accelerometer, and then Samsung also says that it has the capability to record your ECG, and that feature is not gonna be available at launch, but it plans to bring it to it sometime later after the watch itself has been launched. Otherwise, it's a Galaxy Watch Active, which is gonna be really familiar if you've used a Galaxy Watch before. It still has the same kind of Tizen interface. It still has the same kind of app menus and things. You can obviously get your notifications from your phone. You can swipe up and clear them. You can view your calendar and weather and stuff, all this type of stuff that you would expect from a smartwatch. Samsung has built in some new integrations. There is better Bixby support now, so you can activate a workout with Bixby and it can do a, um, a paste workout out for you, which is new. It can control SmartThings gadgets. It has a uh, Spotify integration built into it, including offline Spotify playback, which is super useful. And it has a new ability to watch YouTube videos. Uh, there's an actual YouTube app that Samsung built for this, so you could watch YouTube videos on your wrist. Truly do not know why you'd ever want to do this, but it's there if you want it. So in terms of battery life, Samsung says the LTE model in 40 millimeters should get a day and a half. 44 millimeters should get you two days of battery life. So these are not super long lasting things like a Fitbit. It is much closer to a standard smartwatch in terms of battery life. Another thing that's new for this model is the ability to match a uh, watch face to your outfit. You can actually take a picture with the app on your phone and it will then process what you're wearing and create a watch face out of it. So you can have a constantly different personalized watch face that nobody else has right there on your watch every single day if you wanted to, which is kind of a neat feature. So there you go, that's the look at the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Now it's gonna be available at the end of September, on September 27th. It's the Bluetooth model, it's gonna be available first. It starts at $279 for the 40 millimeter, $299 for the 44 millimeter. And then the LTE model is gonna follow later and pricing is gonna be announced by the carriers on that. Now Samsung is announcing a lot of things this month. Uh, by the time you're watching this, Samsung will already announce the Galaxy Tab S6, so be sure to check out theverge.com for all of that. And stay tuned, we're expecting Samsung to launch a Note 10 and maybe a Note 10 Plus really soon. So be sure to check us out for more on that. So are you guys into wearables? Are you wearing one right now? Which one are you wearing? Are you interested in any of these new ones from Samsung? Let us know.